have to challenge you you know to call us check out our website email us contact us we want to partner with you and go forth in a holistic healing for the believers those that believe in god as their healer so contact us that we can come out do a presentation you know um talk to your leaders anything that you need we will provide it or or refer out we can um, be contacted at 216-551-8474 or at www.heheals.us or send us an email at emotionalcare at heheals.us. Amen, amen. And the numbers will be listed at the bottom of the screen if you want to contact Kim Jordan and Emotional Care. So you already have the information. So you know, it's the Bible says that our people perish for the lack yes. of knowledge. Yes. So now you're willing to give the pastors the knowledge that they need so they can really see some results in the people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you share with us a, a success story? Tell us a story about either a church or individual that you work with and just share us give our, our viewing audience some hope hmm, um maybe a light story about a young teenager okay. um you know a young teenager that i worked with whom um she really couldn't afford a lot of the counseling services so her mother came to us and we began to see her pro bono um because it just making it more affordable for the family the teenager was you know basically just separated from her father you know mother father separated divorce she was experiencing you know some anxieties um struggling in school became angry um you know acting out and different things like that came in and sat down and talked with us her mother was a, a little nervous that she wouldn't be comfortable she had been to other counselors I came in, we sat down, we talked, we connected, and really got to the root of the thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they had at one time been sending her to some of the places trying to see if, you know, different things were going on and how, but it, it wasn't as bad as we thought it was. Mm -hmm. She just simply needed to understand and understand the connection and how she was broken and how hurt she was being separated from her father. And that's important because, you know, there's a lot of divorces that do go on in the body of Christ and in the world, and people don't seem to think about the children. Right. You know, it's like the parents are going through what they're going through, but the children are also going through a divorce yes. as well, so that's yes. something to think about. Absolutely, and that's something we would love to um, talk to adults about, couples, you know, people who are desiring to get married, and people who are struggling with divorce and separation, just to be aware of what the children are going through. Wow, that's great. What a success story to give us hope. Because when teenagers are going through, sometimes they're going through because of the changes and the hormones in their body. Yes. We'll be right back. Like all new parents, my husband and I want what's best for our baby. We talk to our doctor about vaccines. We learned that immunizations are not only a good idea, they could save our daughter's life. Get the facts. Vaccines save lives emotional care so in closing Kim is there anything in particular that you want to share with the viewing audience I love what your um, brochure says about the journey towards emotional physical psychological and spiritual well-being tying that in together for the body of Christ is there anything that you would like to share with our viewing audience in closing Yes, I just like to, again, just challenge the pastors, the leaders, or individuals to give us a call. Um, our passion, our calling is for the body of Christ. It is for the believer. So we want to help you any way we can, you know, or find you the services that can help you. Um, we are excited. We're motivated. Amen. And we're eager, you know, to help the body of Christ to heal emotionally and psychologically so i just want to encourage the pastors you know that's one of the harder things to do a lot of times is get you know people to come out and you know to come together we'll advertise but getting people motivated and we're not just another service or anything we're here 
we're strong. Um, the Spirit of God is moving, and we're excited about it. So I just want to encourage the pastors. Amen, amen. I'm excited about it, too. I actually attended one of Emotional Care's workshops about two weeks ago, and you were talking about stress and anxiety and yes. actually what it is. And it was very, very interesting to me, the information that you gave yes. at the workshop. And um, pastors, you can have her come in and do some workshops and Absolutely. things like that at the individual churches, this um, particular workshop that she's doing, is it six or eight weeks? It's seven weeks. Seven weeks, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can come to each individual class or you can come to all of them. But it was very um, good information yes, that I learned at that. So in closing, I would just ask if you could just say a prayer to our viewing audience, however you feel lead to just pray for the viewing audience today. Okay. Father God, Yes, we want to thank you right now for your grace and for your mercy. Lord God, you're loving and you're kind. Yes, Lord. And Father God, we just pray right now for the listening audience, for their families, Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray that you want to camp your angels about them and keep them safe from all harm, hurt, and danger. Father God, I just pray that you would touch them from the crown yes, of their heads Lord. to the thank soles of their Jesus. feet, Lord. That you will order their steps and ordain their paths, oh God. That you would let your um, peace rest on them. Yes, Saturate their Lord. lives with your spirit, oh God. Comfort those those who are mourning, oh God, those who are sick, oh God, those who are in a need, Father God, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, Lord, I just pray healing for them right now, Father God, that you would move in a mighty way throughout this land, oh God, touching families, Lord, touching parents, oh God. Touching single mothers, Lord. Touching children, oh God. Those who are lame, Father God. Those who can't hear or see, oh God. Give them spiritual sight, Lord. Yes, Lord. Heal minds, Lord. And I pray for the body of Christ that we come together on one accord, yes, oh God. Lord. Recognizing you, lifting up voices, oh God. Holy hands, reverencing you, oh God. And recognizing that our healing comes from you, Lord, and that we are vessels, yes, oh God, Lord. use, Lord, to go forth and do your work. We thank you, thank you we Jesus. honor, we glorify Lord, you, and give you, you all the praise, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is in Jesus' name in that Jesus I pray. Name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I hope you felt the anointing through the television screen for that prayer. We thank you once again for tuning in to Do You Know Him? Do You Know Him? Do You Know Him? I'm your host, Lady.